All righty, we are recording. Welcome, everybody. This is the Jenkins Cloud Native SIG meeting. This is a sort of impromptu meeting because we don't have an official meeting time yet. My name is Marky Jackson. I'm one of the SIG leads. And uh, before we get started, just a couple house cleaning items. This is a recorded meeting, uh, so it is available on the internet. And we do follow the Jenkins Code of Conduct, which essentially amounts to be nice to one another. Uh, so we have, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. And we have two topics on the roadmap. The first topic is uh, meeting cadence. So we started this impromptu meeting uh, today, Friday, October 30th at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And what I wanted to do is set a meeting cadence. Does this time work for everybody? Oh, on my side, yeah, it's, uh, this, this time is good. Tim, what yeah, about you? This work, yeah, this works okay for me. The other, the previous times weren't possible. Okay, so Tim, Bibhab, so what I will do, uh, I am going to add an action item. Give me just a moment. I will add the meeting to the community calendar. There will be a new Zoom link and I will update that in the uh, chat. So that is it. Does anybody have anything else regards to that for meeting cadence? Okay, moving on I to just, the next. I just wanted to ask like, uh, how did these meetings like go, go on before this kind of reinitialization? Uh, wait, can you repeat that again? How do these meetings what? Yeah, so how did these meetings go before, like we, before right now? Uh, so pr previously, uh, the meetings kind of were, they're much like every other uh, SIG meeting. Uh, there's a note taking, there'll be, we'll talk about, you know, items that are up for discussion, items for road mapping and things like that. Really what we want to try to do, uh, I would think in the first few meetings is try to start thinking about what we're looking to accomplish with this SIG, as well as start getting a roadmap together for the things that we'd like to accomplish in the next year. Okay. Does that answer your question? Yeah, yeah, it does. So okay. uh, if, uh, can, if it's okay, can I ask another question just related to this one? Yeah, totally. Yeah. Uh, so. Well, uh, before before uh, this reinitialization, like uh, what what were the goals that were set for the SIG? So if you go back at that meeting doc I gave you, there there weren't really uh, the goals that were set need to be re we sort of need to revisit them and make sure are they still the same. So if you look back at some of these previous meeting notes here you'll be able to see some of the things that were being worked on, and that's kind of once we uh, I think with this meeting what we want to do is make sure we set the meeting cadence and then what we want to accomplish, what we want to start doing next weekend, which probably will be everybody reviewing these notes and seeing if there were things that were left open, if those are still of value and uh, if we can accomplish those and then start to build out the roadmap. Does that answer your question? Yes. Yes, it does. Thank you. Marky. Awesome. You're welcome. Uh, so the next topic is, uh, we've had, you've entered that, and that's the Jenkins Operator Roadmap. So I would like to just touch on this, this topic with just a real quick bit. The Jenkins Operator is it's handled by another uh, entity, like they're an actual company that handles it. And uh, so we don't, I know they did publish their roadmap. Uh, if we wanted to try to bring that into the cloud native SIG, then we're probably going to want to reach out to them and, and get them involved here. But please yes. take it away. What were your questions? So it's, uh, it's my questions were, so I just wanted to kind of go over what is happening with the operator right now. And then 
uh, on our side so i so i'll just give a little introduction of myself so my name is vibhav and i work for red hat in the openshift jenkins team so we have an instance of uh, like a jenkins image and a few plugins that we maintain and uh, we've been giving it to our customers and uh, supporting it and uh, now that we are in our main product has uh, like moved away from the jenkins image itself we are slowly uh, getting into like the kuber like the jenkins operator and for the last uh, like i think it's it's been a little more than a year since we have uh, kind of been looking at the jenkins operator and have been working on it so apart from that uh, like right now uh, with the governance stuff that is going on what we've done right now is we forked the jenkins operator repo and we have uh, we are working on it uh, actively so uh, i uh, so in in this uh, i'm basically going to discuss like what we have as uh, uh, in the fork like like doing with the jenkins operator and if uh, the it would be possible to get the you know uh, people from vertus lab involved with this and you know get discussions going on on how we can really you know uh, move the operator forward yeah so uh, i know that there is an email chain that uh, has been going back and forth in regards to getting that i have personally reached out uh to the the team that is handling the jenkins operator to get some feedback i know some other people have also done the same thing i think before we can have discussions about the jenkins operator roadmap we definitely need to get them involved in the sig uh so i'm going to reach out again to see if we can have them attend next week's meeting and see if there's something we can do but i definitely think that before we have any discussion about that we need to have them here as well would you agree uh, yes i i agree so uh yeah that that's all that's uh, that's it from my side then for the road map guess uh if if we need uh, what is lab to be in this meeting yeah, i'm i agree with that as well yeah so what is the kind of state about that um we got a request a response from management at vertus lab they said that uh, they are about writing back to the uh, developer mailing list never happened uh, but uh, they also declared their intent uh, to start contributions in november uh well uh, jenkins board uh, tries to get uh, the response if it doesn't come maybe you will consider other options because right now the situation is not uh, that uh, the project just doesn't evolve but uh, there are private forks which are being provoked uh, which is not exactly what is expected uh, from our open source project within hosted within the jenkins organization and uh, yeah if it uh, gets stuck for the i think we will have to act on that okay so let me just make a note here because i can't spell okay so basically what we're doing is we're reaching out we're going to wait and see we'll wait until once the uh, jenkins elections are done to see where we stand and then we'll decide the next course of action once that's done is that okay bib hab yes uh, that sounds good yeah, it's so, not uh, really dependent on jenkins elections per se but uh, yeah It's also a matter of the bandwidth because the entire Jenkins board was quite busy this month. Uh, it will be a bit better in November because we did uh, the most of the leg work until the elections are over. Um, but uh, still, uh, right now, I would uh, give another chance uh, with the swap to this uh, point. Does anybody else have anything to add to that? just sorry that it uh, takes so long because yeah it's something uh, to think about uh, in our processes so that we can uh, introduce another escape hatch to prevent it in the future okay does anybody else have any other topics that they would like to discuss
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just cover what the uh, what the action items are for next week. Everybody, uh, Oleg, everyone has agreed to this meeting cadence, meeting this day and time. I know that this may not always work for you. Uh, but no, are this you... time is actually quite good, especially now in the winter time. Okay, awesome. Because, I'll add yeah. you as a plus one. Yeah, for me, uh, the biggest problem is time after 6 p.m., especially okay. on Fridays. That's why it, uh, pipeline monitoring sick was a problem. But now this uh, meeting is 4 p.m. and pipeline monitoring is 5. So it's basically I'm just uh, my availability, not uh, the timing. Awesome. Okay. Uh, so the action items that are for next, uh, between now and next meeting will be, I will be adding the meeting to the community calendar. I will set up a new Zoom. Uh, and then I'll update uh, everybody in the cloud native SIG getter once that's done. Uh, mm -hmm. An action item for everybody, everybody on this call will be to review the previous meeting notes and see if there's any areas of interest that uh, we would like to extract from these previous meetings and resurface them. And we mm -hmm. will go over that next meeting, which will be next yeah. Friday at the same time. Yeah, we'll pull uh, a couple of additional meetings which are not listed here because uh, they happened in a limited group uh, and uh, not in this document, I guess. Um, and yeah, there are a few other action items I took um, in uh, May, June, which uh, still remain on me. One is updating uh, basic pages. We also had an agreement on things like uh, moving JCASC uh, to another SIG uh, uh, de facto and, and um, yeah, de facto rank uh, what is actually on the page so it reflects the state on the roadmap. Uh, it still uh, remains on uh, my list. Uh, yeah, unless somebody else wants to take it uh, in short term, you can uh, basically keep it uh, as is. Can I assign that to you, Oleg, for moving the JCAS or at least? Okay. Mm -hmm. I've also I've also assigned updating the landing page to you. If you'd like, I can take to do that. But I think the ver we should maybe uh, sync on the verbiage that we want on there. Yeah, uh, uh, there is a uh, half updated page somewhere in my for in my branches. Okay. To say uh, so. Yeah, I like to uh, start doing that. But yeah, anyway, there will be a pull request. Okay. To awesome. Review. Okay, so it looks like we have our uh, action items. Does anybody else have anything they want to add? Talk uh, about? If, yeah, if you don't mind, I, I had I had a question to you, Marky, especially. Uh, you're part of the CD Foundation, uh, if I'm not wrong, like CD Foundation Interoperability. So uh, are there any things that are overlapping between what Cloud Native SIG uh, might do forward and you know, uh, the CD uh, the interoperability sake of CD Foundation uh, would be doing. Uh, I think so. The the way the interoperability sig is is working is a much larger sort of scope, and that's for all of the projects that fall under the uh, under the CDF. I do think there will be times that we will go and update the inter interoperability sig. But I don't think the uh, the existence of this SIG as well as the interoperability SIG overlap with each other, because yeah. what the CDF sort of guidance is is larger to every project under the CDF, where the guidance for this SIG is specific just to Jenkins. So there may be times when we update them, but uh, hmm. but there's going to be no overlap. Does that answer uh, your question? And, uh, Yes, uh, it, it does, uh, partially, I think, uh, because uh, what about then uh, plugins such as uh, the one that I've been working on, uh, Tecton Plant plugin, and if there are on others like, you know, uh, the Kubernetes plugin, not Kubernetes, uh, maybe OpenShift plugins, which, uh, you know, do builds and stuff for Jenkins. So are would these be considered overlaps or just uh, no those no would way. not be considered overlaps i think those would be considered specific to this sig however mm -hmm. we can update 
the interoperability SIG from time to time about the presence of these plugins. So for example, Oleg uh, recently gave a demo of what was it the uh, the file runner? Which one was it, yeah, Oleg? That you... It was the file runner. Yeah. I, I watched it as well. Right. So th there are interoperability things that we can update them on, but the work that goes on within those plugins would be more specific to the Jenkins SIG and not the, the CDF interoperability. Does that does that answer your question? Yeah, it does make things clear. Yes. Awesome. Yeah, it's basically how it's supposed to work in uh, foundations. Uh, so yeah, we will have a lot of uh, Jenkins internal things, even uh, if they contribute uh, uh, to communication with other projects at some point. But yeah, at the same time, we have a lot of uh, pure Jenkins things. So for example, Helm charts for Jenkins is definitely something we may want to discuss at the Cloud Native Seek, but it's unlikely an interest for interoperability Seek at the moment. Okay. okay, awesome. Well, if nobody has anything else, we will close this meeting out and I'll give you 10 minutes back and I will see you next week. So you want uh, meetings every week, right? Uh, I think we can start every week, but then once we start to get going and we have the sort of roadmap laid out, then we can move it to bi-weekly. I'm fine with that. Mm -hmm. But for now, I think we should keep them every week until we get everything ironed out. And especially if we keep them short. Yeah. All righty. Everybody have okay. a good weekend. And I will see Thanks you all online. See you all. It was nice uh, catching up. Cheers, Thank everybody. Bye-bye.